Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is another Gossip Girl haul. So if you didn't catch the first video, basically I found a whole bunch of what appears to be studio wardrobe Gossip Girl items at a thrift store in the Los Angeles area. And I picked up quite a bit of it. I'll link that first video down below where I explain a little bit of how I figured things out. Um, but when the first batch of auctions of 16 of those items went up and I started getting bids, I decided to go back to the thrift store a couple more times to see if I missed anything. I knew that I left a couple items that were, uh, left them behind that were items that I wasn't as excited about, but ha did have tags. And I also suspected that maybe there was stuff that I missed. Maybe the tags were hanging in a different part. Maybe it was flipped. So it wasn't dangling on the outside of the racks. Either way, I found some more items. I will pop up the number of items here. About uh, probably two thirds of it does have the tags that indicate the character, the actor, the episode, the scene, um, other items that they wore with that specific outfit, um, those kind of big tags. And then probably a third of them don't have those tags, but I'll explain at the end why I picked those up. Um, so, I am excited about this. I'm rolling out auctions like about 10 to 15 each week, just so that if there are collectors that are buying this, they don't have to make, you know, massive purchase all in one week. And I can kind of learn from each auction as they end if I need to change anything with my listings. So uh, let's just jump into it. If you aren't subscribed and you like content around thrift hauls, um, content around Poshmark or eBay, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And as always, if you like these Gossip Girl hauls, this probably is gonna be the last dedicated haul, but if I find any more, I'll throw them into my future thrift hauls. Um, be sure to hit the thumbs up. It just means a lot to me and brings a smile to my face. So, all right, I have, I'm gonna start with the items that have tags that tell me the episode and the character. Um, I have noticed with the first batch of stuff that some of the items I can't see in those episodes kind of around those times. So my guess is, is that maybe they did some wardrobe swaps. I'm still gonna list them, but I am trying to get through the entire series um, of watching it and kind of paying close attention to what they're wearing to see if I can identify anything um, that maybe I can't, for a screenshot that maybe I can't because of the tags. So um, let's just start with right on top. This is a men's jacket. This is a John Barbados. So it's kind of a gray John Barbados. It does have this, um, these little holes. There are pockets under, or sorry, buttons underneath that you can put, but it was honestly just a pain and I'm gonna take photos of it anyways. So this was worn by Nate. This has, and again, I won't show you every tag, but just to remind you what they look like, this has the um, information about the character, the actor, uh, what episode and what season, and kind of the, it does list off the scenes on most of the tags. And then on the back, it will say what other things he wore with his outfit, um, the brand. So because it's a jacket, it'll say the shirt, the shoes, the pants, um, and any accessories, etc. cetera. So um, this is a good, good designer anyways. I do pick up John Barbados. I don't usually spend a lot on the dress shirts, but if it's a really good item, like a really solid jacket, I would assume that the comps for something like this resold is probably anywhere from 50 to 100. I haven't looked this up yet. All of this is gonna be rolling out in the next few weeks. Usually I have everything listed when I do my thrift hauls um, in case you're interested in anything, but because these are auctions and I'm rolling them out every week, this stuff probably won't be up for auction until I get through the rest of the stuff. Um, but this one, because it's a great, a great item just by itself without the studio wardrobe tags, I'm probably going to start this at the 99 mark for auctions and then just let people run up the price however they see fit. Um, and I know that was a common question or a common statement of maybe I was listing too low. So the first batch of auctions, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what the demand was and I definitely didn't expect all 16 items to sell in that first week. But I am a firm believer that the market will dictate the prices. So if there is a demand for it, and if you list things correctly, like I listed these under um, television memorabilia, wardrobe originals, you know, any collector that is interested in this stuff may have, you know, uh, search filters already on and would be notified. Um, and could someone flip this stuff? Absolutely. Maybe they have specific buyers in mind. Maybe they have a very dedicated audience for it. That's just not me, right? Um, this isn't my specialty. So I am happy with the return. My, my first 16 items, the average sale price 
was $119. That's not including fees or cost of goods. My cost of goods was about $5 per item and the fees are fairly like you take off 20% if you want to just make, keep it easy, even though it's a little less than that. But, um, yeah, I, I, I think I was very happy to see the return on those items. And I think I'm going to keep that pricing strategy, basically starting things from 49 to 99 with a few exceptions that might be listed a little bit higher, but all right, <clears throat> enough of the mumbo jumbo. <laughs> Let's move on to one of my favorite pieces. Now this one surprisingly does not have a tag, but I was watching an episode and I saw uh, Lily wearing it. And so it is, and it looks, if it's designer, I don't know. She was wearing this over something um, because it's very sheer on this bottom part. And I did not get that, but this is the most important part. I feel like you can put this over anything, like any kind of silk, um, uh, whatever. But this has, the only tag is that this, this tag was kind of on a lot of them. It just doesn't have the one where it says Lily. Um, and it also doesn't have any brand or designer tags in it. It doesn't have any material tags. So this could be maybe a custom item or it's it, it maybe a really high-end designer because it just feels like such great quality. So um, yeah, this is absolutely stunning. I can't remember, I have it written in my notes, which episode, but it was probably in season one because I'm only in season two now watching. So um, yeah, this was worn by Lily and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm probably gonna start that one high because if it's custom, if it isn't custom, it was probably a high-end designer just based off of the look and feel. And so I'll probably start that one high as well. The women's stuff, not surprising, is going for more money. Um, and I'm not, that's that's what I was expecting. A lot of these men's, try not to rip the tags off, a lot of these men's items um, are still selling, but they're not, you know, they're kind of button front shirts and not as very specific to the, the era. All right, this, I also found the screenshot. Um, this is kind of a worn down sweatshirt. Nate actually wears this when he is done playing basketball, uh, I believe in season one as well, or season two. And I actually left this one behind because it just looked really dingy. I also didn't know this brand, which is Covet, is what it looks like. Um, handcrafted, Redemption, Main China, large. It just didn't look like much. And I believe there's a faint stain on it somewhere. But this one does have the tag with the information and I already have a screenshot of this. <clears throat> Partly because I had another item that I was looking for a screenshot in that same episode, very similar item. And I think this may have been the swap out, but um, yeah. All right, a couple men's shirts. This is a brand I've never picked up. So I actually don't know the resale value, but Stephen Allen, I don't think it's super valuable. It's a fairly casual shirt. This one also has the tag for Nate. So with the, these men's items, I'm going to start them at about 49, unless it's a super high-end uh, designer. This is also Stephen Allen. And this was also Nate. So nothing too exciting. This one doesn't have the big tag, but quite a few of them did have the tag like this on the side. So it at least tells me the, okay, chapter one is... Um, I can't remember what the chapters are, but episode 208 means it's season two, episode eight. And that has been pretty accurate as I've found a lot of items and screenshots. So those two, I'm not expecting too much. This was one of the suits that I did leave behind the first time. And it was marked at, I believe, 15. Now, this one is a pretty good designer. I just don't like men's suits, <laughs> to be honest. I just don't like selling them. Um, it's just hard to photograph for my setup. But this is Theory. And uh, size 38, fairly expensive. This suit, I don't even know what suit men's suits from Theory retail, but a lot of women's, you know, dresses retail, you know, four to five hundred dollars. So I would imagine this was probably, I don't know, maybe five hundred to a thousand. Anyways, it also has kind of one of these weird tags. It's, um, I believe that would be season five, episode sixteen, uh, scene five maybe. But it's the jacket. And then it's the pants. So if I can get a screenshot, that will make life easy. All right, where do I want to put this stuff? I'll put this stuff over here. All right, let's get a girl's item. I know someone commented that it was too bad I didn't have anything from Jenny in the last one. Well, I got a Jenny piece. Um, this one, all it says on here is this. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. However, it is 
kind of a distinct little dress. I know she ha she kind of went a little grunge later in the seasons. So I'm going to try my best and find this one. This is actually only H&M, so nothing fancy. But again, what I found with a lot of the wardrobe, not all, but if they were wealthy in the show, they wore a lot more of the nicer items. And if they were um, more like a regular person, uh, like Vanessa, Jenny, Dan, Rufus, they wore more of the brands that I think a lot of us would wear. So I'm not surprised at all that she had this kind of dress. Um, like an H&M dress, but I'll try and find that. And if I can find the screenshots, then I will probably list that one. Start it kind of low because the brand isn't super high. Um, I know I had a Vanessa Urban Outfitters that sold and is already shipped off. I started it at 49 and I think it went up to 79 with bids. So I'm okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. Here is another suit. This one I left behind that first time because it's Calvin Klein. Um, it's not really a brand I enjoy picking up. It's also a men's suit, which I don't enjoy picking up. But this one just says two piece and it also has, this is actually worn by Chuck. I did get a couple more Chuck items. I think I only got one of his items the first go round. So he was pretty fashionable in that show. So hopefully that will do well. But again, it's just the pantsuit as well. This one was marked up, which I'm not sure why, because the brand isn't anything super designer, but I left it behind the first time. It's a little romper, just short romper. Uh, I'm actually not familiar with this brand, Alex Lane, but this has the tag for Vanessa. And like I said, um, her Lux item, her Urban Outfitters item that has already sold went for something like 70 something. And so if I got a return, I think this is actually a little bit cuter <laughs> than that one. I don't know, actually her, her style was really cute in the show. So even though I paid up for this a little bit, I'm still expecting a great return. And it still keeps my average. A lot of these men's shirts were only marked at like $3. So um, it still keeps my average right around that $5 mark. All right, let's see. This is, I believe another sweater for Nate. This is also one that I left behind that I remembered. It just looked dingy, to be honest. The tag, it is Michael Kors, but I don't really pick up a lot of Michael Kors unless it's a collection um, or I really like the style. And just the tag, you can see it just kind of looks stingy. So again, with now that I know there is a market for this stuff, I decided to pick it up. All right, here is a dress that was worn by Diana. She was her real name or real life is Elizabeth Hurley. And I sold two of her dresses already for about a hundred dollars a piece. I think one was 110 and one was about a hundred, but this is, she wore a lot of these kind of sheath dresses, very form fitting, and she looks spectacular in all of them. Um, but on here, it doesn't have the tags on the dress. So fortunately it does say this is Derek Lamb dress. And that's kind of the same that happened with one of the Michael Kors dresses that I already sold from her. They had already removed all the tags, so maybe she just got itchy. Um, so Derek Lamb, great designer. I'll definitely start this one a little bit higher unless there's some stain or something um, that I don't see. All right, this one I definitely left behind because it's I see Costume National um, all the time in LA. Not all the time, but often enough. And I know it's kind of something for theater or TV, but I just wasn't impressed with this jacket. But again, it does have the tag for Nate with all the info. So here is a, another dress. Um, this is actually really a, quite a statement. It feels like felt to be honest, but it's a yellow sheath dress again, worn by Diana. Yes. So very fitted. And again, the, the tags were removed on hers. So this it says it's Jill Sander, which is definitely a higher end designer. And she definitely got a lot of high end designer clothing, <laughs> at least on the ones that I found. So more so than everyone else I found. All right, here is, I also never didn't get anything the first batch of this character. This is um, Serena's brother. What's his name again? 
he's he's Eric. He's in a lot of episodes. He's he's got a pretty solid part. But these are two of the school uniform shirts for the men. They had kind of a pale yellow. I did find a lot of pale yellow button front shirts for men, but none of them had tags. This one does have the tag with the um, Eric, and then it says the episode in the scene, and it just says school shirt on there. So, so those other ones are probably worn in the show either by um, the extras or the main characters, but I didn't want to pick up too much without tags. I'll save some at the end of why I picked those up. But here's another one of Eric. This is Brooks Brothers. Nothing too exciting, but again, it had tags and those were distinct uniforms. All right, this is a shirt by that was worn by Dan. Another casual shirt, long sleeve. The brand is Bespoken, nothing too fancy, but again, it has the big tag with the scene information. And this is a shirt by Rufus. You know, he was kind of a rock and roll character. So I'm not sure, I'm not surprised that there was a graphic tee, but again, it has the episode info. Now his stuff has not been doing as well. I mean, again, the men's stuff hasn't, but his stuff has been getting later bids. So he was a dominant character, but he wasn't one of the like main younger characters. Um, so, but I think this is a lot of fun. I think a girl could rock this easily. If someone actually wanted to wear it. I'm interested, I would love to know who's buying this stuff. I know one viewer did get one and she sent me a note, but other than that, it looks like it might be collectors. So here's another men's shirt. This is a brand I don't think I've picked up, Mason's. And this was worn by Nate. I'm going kind of fast because there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't want to bore you, but uh, all right, this was absolutely beautiful. It's very heavy. It's got all of the beading. I haven't checked. I haven't gotten any of this under the lights, so I don't know if there's any missing beads on this. But this is by the character Charlie. Was that the character? Yeah, that's the character. Um, and she's in the last few seasons, so, and she's very posh. Uh, I don't think this one has a tag, but the sweater, it's Alice and Olivia, is what this one is. All right. Here is another suit. So it looks like I've got three men's suits to photograph, but this is another Nate one. It's gray. And what brand was this? This is also Calvin, Calvin Klein. So the other Calvin Klein was worn by Chuck. This was worn by Nate. Yeah. So, and then it's got the matching pants with that one. Whoops. This is Dolce & Gabbana which I don't pick up a lot of Dolce & Gabbana in general. It just doesn't sell well for me on the resale market, but this has the tag uh, for Nate. It also has this weird dangly thing. I think this is the, um, like he probably wore this under a suit, maybe one of these other suits. And this is the, what goes in that front pocket. I know it's got a name, I'm just blanking on it. But um, yeah, so I think because this is a higher end designer and it does have the show tags, I'll start that one a little high for the men's items. And then it's got the little pocket, like it's, it's like the handkerchief, you know? All right, another men's shirt. This one was worn by Chuck and this is Joseph Avowed. I have sold this brand. I think it's sold at like department stores. It's not super high end, but it's not, you know, Target cheap. I mean, Target isn't cheap. I wear a lot of Target, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway, so that has the tag. All right, this was an unusual one, but, and I don't know the exact episode, but I thought I'd give this a chance. Again, collectors, she was in a lot of the episodes and it doesn't have the full complete outfit, but this was dangling with this tag and it says pregnant maid uniform. So Blair had the, um, had the maid in a lot of her episodes and she, I believe was pregnant in uh, one or two of the seasons. So this doesn't have the collar, like she had the white collar and then the, the little waist, you know, little apron type thing, but it is the black piece from that. So I thought I'd give it a shot. We'll see. There's no brand on it or anything. So it might just be costume, but all right. And then the last two items that are clearly marked, these are two more school uniform ones and these are for girls. So this was actually Nellie. 
um, which she's kind of, she becomes part of like the little in crowd, Blair's crowd. Um, she's a super smart one that at one point Blair is trying to get um, her to fail at some of the stuff that she's good at, which is everything. So it's just Forever 21. It's just a little school uniform shirt, nothing too exciting. It has a medium tag down here and then it has the tag with the episode um, for her on there. And then this one is same group, Isabel. So she also was in that kind of, I don't wanna say the mean girl group, but <laughs> kind of. Anyways, so this also is nothing fancy. This is Next Petite. So I would not have picked this up if it didn't have the tags, but it's Isabel and it's also got the scene information. And then it's got this um, size tag that just says small petite. So I thought I'd give those a, chan a chance. I mean, I don't know how many people are looking for the school uniforms, but jumping into that, where did I put them? Okay, we'll start with, I can't find this item yet, but it's Prada. <laughs> so I feel like even if I can't find it in the show, it'll do just fine. It is Prada, made in Italy. It's men's swim trunks. I've already looked in episode or season one or two, they have a pool scene at the school and someone gets injured. Um, so it's got this tag. Uh, I've already looked in that episode and I can't see anyone wearing these brown swim trunks. So I think they have a couple other swim uh, episodes down the road. So I'm hoping that maybe Nate or Chuck wear this because I could see them wearing some Prada uh, just based off their characters, but we'll see. If, it, if I can't find it, I can still sell it for sure. All right, this is another one that I think this is Vera Wang's I like her regular line. She's got so many different lines, but it just says Vera Wang. I've actually never seen this tag. Again, it has a wardrobe tag, but no other information. So I am going to look and see if I can find this, someone wearing it and get a screenshot. This is a US six. So this may have been Lily. She's worn a lot of size four to eight in her clothing. And it's absolutely beautiful with this beading. And it's just so soft and so beautiful. I don't know if there's any stain on this, but it's stunning. All right, here is another men's shirt. It also has just this tag and it's theory. So I wouldn't normally pick this up if it didn't have the studio tag. I'm gonna try and see these button front shirts. I think I'm gonna have a really hard time pinpointing them just because usually they're wearing sweaters or jackets over stuff. Um, but I will certainly try. This is kind of a light baby blue and I haven't seen much of that. So I will try to see if this is like a Nate shirt, but all right, here is, this was a new designer for me. And this one, is, I think is gonna be really tough because I think this is part of a school uniform. But I decided for just the designer's sake, I would give this a shot, even if I can't find it on the character. It's Patrick Ervell, standard blazer, New York. Um, I think, I don't know if this is men's or women's, to be honest. I haven't actually done that much research on this stuff. Uh, size 38, made in the USA. So anyways, but it's just a navy blue blazer, kind of like a lot of them wore for their school uniform. And again, it has this tag, but no other information that I have found. So we'll see. I don't think, they just wear so many navy blue blazers. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pinpoint that one, but. All right, this one I picked up partly because of the label. I have never seen this Ralph Lauren label and it's not their regular black label, which is um, their second highest line, um, but it had the Ralph RL Lauren. It is a black label, but I've done some um, Google lens uh, searches with this. I've seen a couple listings where it just spells out Ralph RL Lauren, Lauren and I know Lauren, there's different ways of saying it. Someone did try to correct. We all have different ways of <laughs> saying things. Anyways, so. Uh, this is a really nice kind of utility jacket. Again, it might have been part of a school uniform, but the only tag on here is just the word, the number seven. So I don't think I'm going to have much luck finding this in the show, but I do think it's a well-made jacket and I just want to learn more about that la label. So, all right, this is a suit jacket by Hugo Boss. This one did have this tag. This tag seems to be the like main indicator that it was in the show. Um, and all it says right here is just studio. 
So again, this is a pretty expensive brand, not super high end, but definitely not cheap. Um, I don't know how well this is going to do, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to spot this, but I still feel like this was probably worn in the show. And so if someone just was excited about the show, I feel like it will still sell. This one's absolutely beautiful and silk. So just a beautiful blouse. Um, and it's got kind of these accents on the front and on the back. I am not familiar with this brand. So I think I quickly looked up the brand and it's kind of a, a mid range in comps, but I thought it was absolutely stunning. This one also just has this M tag as medium. So I'm not feeling super confident with this one, but I think it's beautiful as is. Now, probably the most interesting find when I went back one time, it was the last time I went back, were ties. These are the ties from the girls uniform clothing. And like they have different options as far as what they wore. So they have the option like this and it's got the plaid. They also have a just plain navy. I, I think I only got one of these, but this is the bow of the navy. And then they have the more obvious tie, like Serena wears hers dangled, um, but just like kind of the regular school tie. And these appear to be the brand French Toast, which is also the brand of the Serena Polo. So I think that that's probably the brand of a lot of their, their uniform wardrobe. But I got, I can't remember, I want to say six or seven of these ones. And then I got about six or seven of these. And I think I only got one of the navy blue ones. Again, I'll keep looking at accessories. It's just one of those things that I didn't think of that first trip. These also don't have tags specific to the show. But if you look at any of their episodes where they're wearing um, school uniform, their solid navy or this plaid is the women's or the girls uniform. So um, we'll see how those do. I'm not sure what to expect with those other than I think it would be an awesome Halloween outfit and pretty easy to do with either a, a navy skirt and a white top or yeah. All right, last bag. This stuff doesn't have tags, but it was found around the same dress area or it was in the dress area and they could be. Um, so this is what appears to be a real Chloe. This is a purple dress. Again, purple was in a lot of seasons, a lot of episodes. So um, I feel like maybe I'm going to be able to spot this just because of the accent up here. Now there is kind of this wire or this plastic pieces that make all of the design that are coming out in a couple spots. I'm just going to leave everything as is because maybe, I don't know. I just, I feel like if it's a collector, they'll want it as authentic as as it is, but this does have the belt still attached that goes around. I feel like maybe Serena wore this, who knows? Um, but I'm keeping my eyes peeled for this and it is an expensive designer. I don't think there's a material tag on this. So um, that's the only thing I can see as far as no size and no material, but it feels like silk. And it again was in the same place with Prada and other things from the show. So this one, when I went to look up this designer, um, there were a couple screenshots of this designer, not the same dress from Gossip Girl. So my guess is, is they did stick with a lot of the same brands and designers for a number of them. I'm not, I'm not sure where this is from, but Lorik is the brand. And then it does have this tag up here and I'm not sure what that means, but it's a beautiful dress. It's got this belt that's kind of hanging on for dear life. It's a beautiful dress. And I'm hoping to spot this one as well. Again, no tags, but good quality. Uh, BCBG Max Azria. I feel like that was a popular brand in the late, around the same time frame of the show. And just the style screams like a Lily or a Diana. So BCBG Max Azria. Again, the sizes. So this is a size medium. The sizes played a part. Um, but it's kind of this, I think, is it real leather? No, it's faux, it's faux leather or faux, yeah, faux leather, but it just feels like a really nice sheath dress that maybe someone wore. Again, just trying to spot this stuff as I watch the multiple seasons. This one's beautiful. And let's see, who was this? Did this have no tag? This is Worth New York. Whoops. 
And again, they just had so many party scenes. So I'm just hoping to spot some of these dresses since they are a little bit easier than men's shirts, but absolutely beautiful. Whoops. This one is really funky. I'm not sure who would have worn this, but this is Western wear, which is sometimes sold or was sometimes sold at Anthropology. They also are a San Francisco brand, but it's this dress that is a halter and it has all this, <laughs> I don't know what you call this, but it's funky. Um, and I feel like that would be a really good cocktail dress. Again, I'm not sure if it's from the show. This is a little boho. This is BCBG Max Azria again. I feel like, you know, maybe a Serena would wear this just because it, it does have that boho flair, but this is a, probably a pretty expensive dress retail. And um, it's got the belt. Only a couple more and then, and then that's it for this Gossip Girl stuff. This is an anthropology dress. I don't think this was, I don't know. Again, I just feel like it was in the dress section. I feel like this would be an easy cocktail dress and one shoulder might be easy to identify, but it's Anthropology, the Leaf's Daughter. So we'll see if I can spot that. This one is Taylor, but again, purple was a pretty popular color in a lot of the seasons or a lot of the episodes. So as far as purple dresses, and I just felt like this would be a really I don't know. Um, again, easy to spot if there is purple. Size eight, and the sizes typically range from kind of that two to eight for a lot of these um, actresses. So we'll see. This one is Adriana Papel, but again, very flattering. I could see maybe a Lily wearing this. Um, it's got the ribbed kind of effect and just very, very flattering. And then how many more do I have? I think this is the last one. What are you? This is a brand or a designer I am not familiar with. So I'm not sure the value. I think I quickly looked it up and it wasn't great on the resale market. Um, but this also is kind of a cocktail dress. So we'll see if I could spot a bright red dress. So that is it. This is everything from the last couple times I've gone to this thrift store to see what else I could find. I think I have a lot here that will sell because of the tags attached. And then the rest of the stuff, I'm just keeping my eyes peeled. I'm just watching and trying to pay attention while I'm listing and stuff like that. Um, it's easy not to get distracted with the actual show and focus on their, their wardrobe but I'm hopeful I have found a couple items without tags by just watching and I'm hopeful I will be, able, will be able to find more. And if I can't find them, I'll sell them as is with just the notation that, you know, this was picked up along with a whole bunch of other Gossip Girl stuff and may have been worn in the show, but couldn't be identified. So anyways, be sure to hit the thumbs up if you like these Gossip Girl hauls. This has been so much fun for me to research, to watch, to learn. I I don't run that many auctions on eBay. And so it's just so fun and exhilarating to see bids come in. Um, and so I think it's just gonna be a fun couple months for me. But all right, thank you so much for all of your kind comments and positive feedback on all of this. It's been a lot of fun and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.